Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell so you know when I upload. So first off, I do want to apologize that I look like such a hot mess. I have been doing a full day wear test on a product, so yeah. We are to the 10 hour mark now, and you can definitely tell. Hopefully not this far away, but yeah. I'm definitely feeling it. I'm ready to get this makeup off. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. I am a little late, so I did wanna go ahead and sit down and film my monthly beauty favorites for the month of October. I have quite a few good ones this month. Definitely not too many, but still quite a few. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into this. So the first product that I wanted to give a huge shout out to is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is the So Chill Coconut, and I, you guys know, I have fallen in love with this. Sadly, I did the whole here's the tea, hit or miss on this product, and come to find out, I think these are already discontinued, or are starting to be discontinued, and I couldn't even find the So Chill Coconut. I'm so upset about it. I hope that this is something that they will bring back eventually, like they do sometimes with different brands and people they collab with. But until then, I'm gonna to have to be very stingy with this because I love this stuff so much and it just smells so amazing. I'm just so sad that they discontinued this in the first place. All right, the next product, as you guys know, I usually try to go in order. I want to say that I do like the primer water for a priming spray, but I also like to set my face with that too, especially when I'm more on the dry side. But for foundations, I have two here. These are newer to me. The first one I have is the No Filter Foundation from ColourPop, and I'm in the shade Fear 05. So I want to say this is like probably their lightest shade, and I've really been liking this. It is definitely a matte finish. It's more of a natural matte finish, but since I have combo to dry, but here lately it's been a little bit drier, I feel like this has definitely been a matte foundation. But this is such an affordable foundation for the coverage and just everything. I've been really loving this and a little bit goes such a long ways. I've done a whole video on this. You guys can see all of that there. I still need to do reviews on both of these foundations on my blog, but you guys can go check out that video to see my full thoughts on it. Any of these products that I have done first impressions on and you guys wanna know a little bit more about, I will definitely start making sure I link them down below underneath each product so you guys can check them out if I have done a video on them. The other foundation is the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick. I'm in the shade F1, and again, this is probably the lightest shade. And I just really like this. I've used this for quite a few times now and I've definitely made like a little dent inside there. I really need to catch up on my blog so bad. I keep saying that and I just keep falling more and more behind. But I really have been enjoying this foundation and I wanted to include it in my favorites because of that. This is very, to me, this is more on the dewy side of a foundation. I feel like it gives me really good coverage and I can get it to be more of like a natural matte with powder. But for me, I still feel like wearing it throughout the day, it does just tend to get more on the dewy side. But not a bad dewy whatsoever. You're not greasy or shiny, kind of like I am now. It's a good one and I really have been liking this. And again, such an affordable foundation. Next for concealer. I wanted to mention this one because I have been using it so much lately. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer in the shade Fair. Now, I don't really wanna say that this is a favorite, like favorite favorite, but I wanted to include it because I have been using it so much lately that this has kind of been my go-to just so that I could try it out. If you guys haven't seen my latest Here's the Tea Hit or Miss, I will have it linked right up here, so go check it out. I talk about this product there. You guys can kind of see more of my thoughts on it, but long story short, I will definitely finish this out, but I don't think this is going to be a repurchase for me. I think it is pretty good, but I have better, and it doesn't have the amount of coverage that I really, really like, so yeah. Definitely a favorite for the past month. I don't think it's a bad one whatsoever. No shade, hate, anything like that, but 
it just probably wouldn't be a repurchase for me. The only powder that I have to brag about a little bit, I also mentioned in that Here's the Tea video. It is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is the pressed powder. This is just a sample. You guys can watch that video for my whole kind of like review on this. But I have put quite a dent in this little sample. I just have been loving this. It sets my face so well that it gives me like that blurring effect. I don't have to deal with my pores like being ginormous or sometimes your pores can look hella large and that's where a product like this is so handy because after you do your foundation and concealer and you put this on, you cannot even see your pores no matter the size. So I have just really been loving this. I'm definitely gonna want to purchase the full size when I run out of this because this little thing is magic. I wanted to mention this product too. I believe this was also in that video. You guys are probably gonna see quite a few of those products because I have been trying them out so much for that video. But I wanted to mention this as my favorites because this is kind of like the Smashbox product. I've been using it so much for that video that it's just been very consistent. And I do feel like it deserves to be in this video because of the amount I've been using it. And because of the fact that it's really not a bad product, I mentioned in that video that it is a little warm for me. So I feel like I'm going to have to put this aside till the spring and summertime. But... It is definitely a very good bronzer. If you are darker than me, you're really gonna love these. This is so buildable, so blendable. It is a beautiful powder. That's why I wanted to mention it. Sadly, I won't be able to use this unless I break out the fake tan in the winter time, but it is a really good bronzer if you are looking for a good warm tone bronzer. But for me personally, I go more cool tone. So again, I'll have to wait till the spring or summer or when I fake tan next. All right, so for blush, the only brand I have a blush right here in front of me is Tarte. I have been loving Tarte blushes so much, and I know that I've been mentioning them in my monthly beauty favorites, but guys, I just love them so much, and I couldn't decide on just like one, so I just dragged out quite a few. This one is Concept. It is such a beautiful, like, everyday blush color. It is not too intense, but it gives you just enough pigment to know that you're wearing blush and that's why I love it for like day-to-day -day wear. And the next one, this one is Feisty and like its name, this is when you're really wanting like a pop of color blush that is still pretty rosy and yeah, I mean, if you wanna have fun with blush, this is a good one if you like more of the rosy pink shades in blush. And this one is the shade Party, and I got this from an Ipsy, and I love it just like the other ones. The formula in these are so great. These are Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes. They are true to their names. Like, these wear so long. These are some of the longest wearing blushes I've ever tried, and I have quite a few of these little samples, and I just love them. I want to keep collecting these because I don't think I'll ever, like, run out of these besides Concept. I use Concept all the time. But yeah, this one is really good too. It's actually a little bit lighter than Concept. I feel like this pairs up really well with just certain looks. Like if I'm trying to be like more of like a soft glam, then I really like this blush. And I also brought out this palette. This was the holiday palette from last year and I still have not hit pan on any of these shades. They are also gorgeous. Sorry if I'm blinding you, but yeah, you can definitely tell which ones I've used more. I've used this coral one quite a bit and this one quite a bit. Those two are my favorites. They're more of the wearable ones, but these shades are just so beautiful. And I try not to reach for this too often just because I know it's a product that you guys can't get your hands on, but I absolutely love it. And off camera, day-to-day -day life, I wear this palette and reach for this palette quite a bit because I just love the formula of Tarte blushes. All right, highlights, I have a few here. I talked about two of these in that Here's the Tea video as well. The first one being the Estate Cosmetics Do Me Highlighter in the shade Lit. I love this highlight. It's just such a pretty light champagne color, and that's honestly what I have to say about the next one as well, which is in my favorites. Once again, this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in the shade Sarcophagus. Just stunning. They are just beautiful light champagne colors that just work amazingly for my pale skin and that is why they continue to be in my favorites. <laughs> I do have one more highlight though and it is 
my Anastasia Omrizi highlight. This is another product that I try to not reach for that often unless I'm not filming because it is another one that just kind of discontinued. But about a month ago, I had seen somewhere that they were bringing this back out for the holidays and I was like, okay, I'm breaking it out. I'm gonna be using it like every single day. And I honestly have, I have filmed within the last week, two different Instagram videos because I've been slacking on them and not doing them since I've had so many Halloween videos. And I'm getting back into filming makeup videos for Instagram and I've used this highlight in both of those and I didn't catch it until I was editing them and I was like, people are gonna know that I'm really like raving about this product for sure, but it is just so pretty. It is definitely a blinding highlight, but I feel like on my pale skin, it's more of like a subtle highlight. It's so weird, but it's more of a subtle highlight on me. It still gives me that glow and you can tell that I am using highlight for sure but it's not like the skin frost where it's like blinding. This is a little bit more subtle for me and I really like this, especially for like, like I was saying before, soft glam looks. It is just such a pretty highlight and I'm so glad they're coming back with this. If you guys did not get this the first go around, you need to because it is life changing. It is so beautiful. All right, this is a product that I wanted to mention too that also in that Here's the Tea video. And this is the Benefit Brow Contour Pro Pencil. Now, I said in that video too, just like the Smashbox, this is probably not gonna be something that I ever repurchase, but I wanted to give it props because I have been using it all month and trying it out. But I honestly just feel like it's, I've gotten really fast with it, so it's kind of like an easy product, and that's where it's kind of getting me more like, I'm like, mm, maybe this would be a repurchase for me but I always go back to my goof proof and I just feel like that's gonna be like my holy grail that I stand by. And like I said in that video, I can always use my concealer to define my brows and contour them and my regular highlight shades in my palettes to highlight my brow bone. So this is not like something that I definitely like need, but I'm just not a fan of the fine tip pencils either. If you do like more of like the point like the fine point brow pencils, then you might want to give this a go. You might really like it, but yeah, I wanted to give it props because I have been using it so much lately. And I do have one mascara here that I also wanted to mention. I have just been loving my Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm about due to throw this one out and buy a new one. I definitely will. I have just gotten such good results with this. I've been trying to stay consistent with my lash serum and build up my volume on my lashes naturally, but I feel like this just helps so much. It gives me so much length and volume, and that is what I love about this. This has definitely replaced my roller lash from Benefit, like, just like that. Like, that one's just not as good anymore. I love that one for separating my lashes and giving me, like, length, but this one just, in my opinion, is 10 times better because it gives me so much volume, too. And I just feel like the difference in the two and price wise, I will always buy this one now. I do love my roller lash. I still have one that I need to finish up. But after that, I feel like this is going to be my go to when I'm in the mood for a full like curled lash effect. This one's amazing. All right, now we are down to eyeshadow palettes. I have been giving a lot of love to my Zodiac palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. And this palette is just beautiful. It's just one of those that I don't really have to say too much about it. It speaks for itself. The shade range is amazing. I'm still trying it out and I've just been loving every single look that I come up with. It is definitely gonna be a go-to palette probably for a while. I feel like when I've reached for this lately, I've definitely just have went for more of the warm tones for fall time and stuff like that. I really do need to play around with the colors more, but I do feel like now that I've hit fall and autumn weather, I'm just wanting the warm tones and the burgundy eyes and just wanting to not play it safe, but you know, just those looks where they're a little bit more on the safe side and that's what you really like for fall time. That is me and I need to here and there do some more colorful looks because I am missing it. I've also been giving my Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills some love lately as well. And this palette, I just can't get over how beautiful it is. This is another one where I really need to do some looks with the bright purple shade and the bright pink shade. I need to do more with it, but every single time I just come up with such beautiful glam looks and this palette is just stunning. It is definitely one of my favorite 
palettes of all time. Another one that I've been using since the summertime is the Urban Decay Born to Run. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this palette last month too, but I did a couple more looks with this this past month. They were so good that I had to mention them in this video. I have been using these shades over here. Guys, they are incredible. They are just perfect for fall time if you want like that plum smoked out warm tone eye look. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And I just love it. This one right here is a matte and it's called Hellride. It is just such a beautiful matte plum shade. It's so pigmented, so buildable, yet so blendable. Like this palette is just so good. The highlight shade is amazing in this. These top two gold shades are like perfect to just kind of like pat on the center of your lids and give your eyes that extra like pop. Beautiful. I did want to go ahead and mention the Frencation palette from Dosa Colors. This was for the Desi and Katie round two. I've only used this palette probably two, three times. I know but I'm obsessed with the colors. I think they're so beautiful. I have been loving the mattes a lot, and I've also been loving those pops of colors. I'm just wanting to dive back into this palette so bad. I've just been so busy with other videos and trying to use my other palettes that I've had sitting around so that I can throw those in videos and blogs and that kind of thing to wrap them up. But this palette though, it is just so beautiful. I am going to be playing with this palette very soon. I had tried out the Laura Lee Los Angeles palettes right before everything went down and you guys can check out my whole first impressions on them. I wasn't a huge fan of the Party Animal palette but even in that video I can say I did really like this palette and I've used it again after that and I liked it and then here recently I came across these two and I was like I need to play with those again. I've only used Party Animal once so I do need to try it out again and see if my thoughts are any different on it but guys I can honestly say every single time I have used this Boss Bay palette it's amazing like phenomenal. I think the colors blend so good. This middle shade deadline is so warm tone but it's such a beautiful transition shade. I die. The 9 to 5 shade is so beautiful and just makes me feel like a boss babe, honestly. And Clocked Out is also beautiful. I just filmed a video with this for my Instagram, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll throw my name up on the screen. It should already be up. And yeah. The CEO, the metallic CEO, and on the grind shades are stunning. I just can't say enough good things about this palette right now. It has definitely become one of my favorites, and I honestly didn't think like it was going to from that video. I thought it was really pretty, but I was like, oh, they're, you know, those shades, they've been done before. But honestly, I can say like this is still such a unique palette to me, and I really, really recommend it and love it. Okay, so I thought I was completely done with the palettes, but I'm not. I know it's a lot, but I forgot all about this until just a minute ago and it clicked and I was like, oh my gosh, the palette that I've used probably the most the end of this month, and that is the Kylie Cosmetics Halloween palette. I love this, guys. I'm so glad that I bought this. The shades in this are just stunning. I do stand by what I originally said, that the purple shade I wish was just a little bit more purple it just doesn't give that effect on the eyes and it was a little bit patchy and kind of hard to blend at first but I have done looks with this palette after that and I have loved every single shade besides that one. I need to play with it again before I give you guys my final thoughts but as of now, as a whole, I love this palette. It is so good. Those colors are just so pretty. And moving on to our last portion of this video which is lips. You guys know I'm very extra with my lips usually and it's that case again. So the first thing I want to mention is from Zoella Beauty. I think I mentioned this in the video already but this is the So Soft Lip Oil from her, I don't know what it's called. She came out with a new line and it kind of has like those leaves on it and the rest of the packaging is just like that pale pink. It's super cute. I bought the body wash too and I love it. I wasn't a huge fan. You guys might have seen that in an empties video of the original like body wash, the moisturizing body wash because of the scent. But this new one with this line, I'm actually really liking that body wash and I already liked like the consistency and the formula of it. It was just the scent 
that I didn't like in the original like line. But this new scent that she came out with, it is so good. But this lip oil is really good too. It has a good scent to it. It's almost kind of like a cherry, like a fake cherry scent, which kind of sounds weird. But for day-to-day -day wear, like around the house, I just throw this on and I feel like it stays on my lips so well and just keeps them very moisturized and I really like that. I feel like it was very inexpensive too, and you can get it at Ulta. So the only regular like bullet lipstick that I have is my Kylie Cosmetics. This was from the Halloween collection. This is the shade Creep It Real. It is such a beautiful matte formula, and it is a beautiful nude. It pairs up so well with my pale skin, and that is honestly what I love the most about this because it's not every day that I can find a good nude that pairs well with my fair skin. So I love this so much. It's so beautiful. Next one is a long lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra in the shade Verana. This is another beautiful nude shade that I've been loving and I've actually worn a couple of Ofra's liquid lipsticks lately and I've been loving the formula. They're not like thick they're not super runny either. It's like a weird in between, but they dry down really well. They do last quite a while and the shade just automatically wins it for me because it's such a beautiful deeper nude. Next I have another NYX lingerie. I've talked about another one that I really liked. I got this one in my last Ricky's Colt Crushes box and this is the shade Ruffle Trim. It is such a beautiful like almost like the shade that I'm wearing on my lips now. <laughs> but this is such a beautiful shade. It is like the perfect your lips but better shade. It has pink to it, but it could, you could also wear this like as a nude. If you were, if you had like an eye look that you're wanting to pair up with a nude, it's like this one you could still go for because it's so, I don't know, I'm so bad at explaining these. It just honestly is such a beautiful shade. It could go with so many different looks and I, I just love it. The next one I'm going to swatch for you guys as well because I really do like the shade. I feel like it's very close to the last one I showed you guys from the NYX lingerie line, but this is one of the always on liquid lipsticks from Smashbox. This is the shade Driver Seat. The shade that I originally wanted to show you guys, I guess sprouted legs and ran off and I'm so sad because I love that shade. I believe it's called Babe Alert. It is such a beautiful shade. They're very close, like super close. I can say that. But I do think I like Babe Alert a little bit better than this one. But this is still such a stunning shade. I feel like Babe Alert might be a little bit brighter than this one. And if you guys did not know, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, me and my family dressed up as The Incredibles. So I was Elastigirl. My husband was Mr. Incredible. Roman was Dash and Axel was Jack Jack and we all had like the jumpsuits on and the masks but I had to be a little bit extra because every Halloween I always always wear full glam makeup usually it's a little bit on the dark side and I have like a deep lip and I just really play it up because it's Halloween and since I couldn't really do that with a mask on I went very subtle with my makeup but I wanted to give a big pop of red lipstick to match our outfits so here where I live our Halloween was rained out completely so we ended up on Halloween night still dressing up and that night I wore my YSL liquid lipstick. This is just a little sample in the shade 1. This shade is really pretty. I did like it with it, but I did feel like this was a little bit too on the warm, like more of like an orange throw to it than what I wanted. I definitely wanted more of like a cool blue and since our Halloween was rained out, our hometown did their Halloween the following Saturday night. So when we dressed up for that, I went in with a new one that is a little bit more cool tone. And this is Red Rum from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, one of his velour liquid lipsticks. This is one of my favorite formulas of liquid lipsticks and I love this color so much. The last lip product I have to show you guys is a gloss. It is a very sheer gloss, so it's going to be hard to actually show you guys. I know you guys have probably already heard of this. This is another Dose of Colors item from the Desi and Katie Round 2. I did not buy this during the Round 1, but I definitely jumped on the bandwagon of Round 2 because of how much love this product got. It is a sheer lip gloss with gold specks through it. And just like they say, it is 
just beautiful. I will try to swatch it, but you guys probably won't be able to really see it on my pale skin anyways. But I have just been loving this. You can literally put this on top of any liquid lipstick and it's just so beautiful. But I think my favorite way to wear this is just by itself. It just brings out your lips and it just wraps up any look so well. Even if I'm wearing the most natural makeup, this just gives me like that little extra moment that I am missing. <laughs> So this first one is the Kylie Matte Lipstick in Creep It Real from the Halloween collection. The next one is the Deep Nude from Ofra. This is the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick Formula in the shade Verona. The third one is the NYX Lingerie in the shade Ruffle Trim. Then we have the Smashbox Driver Seat. This is one of their always on liquid lipsticks and I love this one but I do like Babe Alert, which is a little bit brighter, a lot more. I just could not find that one. Then we have the YSL Liquid Lipstick in the shade number one. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Rum. And the shade that you guys might not be able to see at all, which is over the top from the Desi and Katie collaboration with Dose of Colors. All right, so that wraps up my monthly beauty favorites for the month of October. Like always, let me know down in the comments what your favorites were. And again, I will have any of these first impressions linked down below in the description box underneath each product. If you guys have not checked those out, please do and give me some thumbs up. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.